first thing I'm going to do is remove this connector here with a pry bar or a very small screwdriver, whatever you have next to you. You have to press in on that tab right there and pull on the wiring. That'll remove the connector. And then with an Allen head bit, go ahead and remove this bolt. All right, remove this all the way. Take that screw out. And then with some pliers, I like to grab the sensor and just try to wiggle it. When you turn it and twist it and wiggle it, it tends to break it free. And as you twist it, you can pull it out. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to grab an appropriate size drill bit so I can remove the rest of the sensor and gently drill. Make sure you're going straight. All right. Now you want to make sure you clean out the hole with some compressed air and make sure this area is uh, nice and flat. It's got a little bit of a rust build up here. So I'm going to scrape that off. Now take your new sensor, and if you want to put a little bit of grease on it, on the base of it, that's fine, where the O-ring is. Insert it all the way, put the bolt in, and let's snug it up. Okay, you don't have to make it very tight, just nice and snug, and then go ahead and reconnect it. Make sure it clicks and it's secure. And now after we put the wheel on, you want to test the sensor by taking, it, the, by taking the vehicle for a road test and making sure you have no ABS lights on and that your ABS still works.